Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Last episode, we got the Waterstone and freed Lipinski of his ghostly plight. And now, we're going back. Where are we going? We're going home! Orange Village. Just because. Just because. It's just how, it's how we do things. There's a doll that resembles a demon. Talk to it? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. That's weird. Why doesn't it say something? Maybe you should play your horn. Okay. Mute puppet. Cool. I want it on my team. <laughs> Seems kind of random to just go home right now, but uh, that's what we had to do. Whoa, that's cool. All right. Night Spawn has joined your party. What was that about? I don't know, but that is a cool looking puppet. Wait, where is he? I thought it was Night Spawn. Dark Knight, huh. Close range dark type. Good offense, defense, jelly. Hmm. Well, too bad I have a righteous guy. It's pretty cool looking, but I already have one. Good old melee. I don't need another one. Let's go talk to Grampy. How you doing, Grampy? Your horn has a mysterious power. It has the ability to get monsters to join you and give power to your party. I wonder where and how your mother acquired that mysterious horn. Me too, Grampy. See ya! <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Nothing. I didn't want to know anything. Okay, uh, who are you? Alfred almost drowned in the Natalie River. But Koro jumped into the river and saved his life. Fortunately, Koro was killed by Bobo. No, Koro! When Koro died, Alfred became very depressed. All Al would say... All Al would say was, dot dot dot. Hm. When Koro died, I asked the priest to bury him for me. I just couldn't take it, so... I have decided to live for Koro. Oh, poor Koro. I'm envious of people, and even dogs. I would like to run around like them. I can play my horn, little puppet. <gasps> well, let's go visit Koro's grave. Pay our respects to the dog that saved the boy's life. Turns people into stone? What a horrible spell. Yeah, no kidding. Here lies Koro. What the heck? Woof woof. Haha, <laughs> this toy dog wants to join us. Why don't you play? Okay. Okay. This is causing more than puppets to join me. I don't... Dogs and dragons? I don't know, man. Koro has joined the party. Okay, I don't think Koro is, uh... He's probably melee. Probably not the best. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just a hunch. Oh no! He often called out Koro's name in his sleep, poor boy. I have Koro. Don't want to. You want to see him? The doctor told us the wise man is the only one who can cure him. And I wonder where this wise man could be found. Let me talk to the boy. I can cure him. Dang it! Dang it! So now we've just been put on a quest out of nowhere. Interesting. Tower of Wisdom is where wise men live. Isn't that right, Polanski? Isn't that right? Hello, fate of death. No, don't explain it again. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. What do you want today? How to lower her fever, huh? Aha. Uh -huh. I know exactly what you want. Give her a snow orb from the Ice Temple, however... Finding it won't be easy. 
It's buried deep within the snow. The ice temple, huh? Okay. Completely unrelated side quest. Go, go, go! Ice Temple, oh god, this is where I got lost before. Hate the Ice Temple. It's poopy. It's poopy. Hopefully I can uh, just magically find my way there. That would be really nice. I would enjoy it very much. Check. Going in one direction. Um. <laughs> Let's go this way. And then this way. And then, okay, it's stairs, alright. And then this way. Oh, I haven't fought anything yet. That's crazy. No. You kidding me? Woof, woof. What was that? Found snow herb. What? What? Wait a minute. Oh, that was Koro? Oh, it is a toy dog. It's not a real dog, it's a robot. What the heck? Close range thunder type. Wow, look at it. Whoa, he's beastly. Okay, maybe he is good. <laughs> but I like Duke, he's my faves. He's my faves, he's my faves. Anyway, we got the snow herb, so let's just get out of here. Ha -cha! Ha -cha 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 -cha. I can't believe I found that so quickly. Ha -cha. Hey, little boy. Hey, hey, little boy. I have a present for you. Did the wise man say that if Al eats the snow herb, he'll become looking better? Thank you, Cornet. Alfred, take this medicine. Hey, his fever is breaking. Wow, that was fast acting. M Mom, Alfred, what's happening? Is Alfred all right? Yes, it's all because of Miss Cornet. Woof! See, look at that. Coro looks completely different. Coro! It's Coro! He's not dead! He is dead. Alfred, that's just a puppet. Pull yourself together, man. Oh, oh yeah, it's just a toy. Miss Cornet, how can I thank you? Give me advice on where I should go. I know it was Coro who cured my disease, I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, it wasn't me at all. It's all because of you. Thank you, Miss Cornet. Yep. Wow, he's still saying the same thing. Okay, now that we've wasted plenty of time, let's see if we can <laughs> magically be able to go to Frogburg. Hopefully. On the island of Kero Kero. Kero Kero. Kero Kero. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, so. Maybe the ladies will help me. Help me. Who am I, you say? I don't want to know. I know, I know you're old. Dude, what? I don't know why I'm not reading these. <laughs> Some gruff dude asked me if I knew of any ruins around here. He kind of ticked me off, but because I'm such a nice guy, I told him about Cape Hope. But the more I think about it, I don't think he was a man. <laughs> oh my god. Some of the ruins of the ancients are capable of floating, I don't believe. I heard the pirates are going over to the village of Kero Kero. That village is a place is the place for weird artifacts and stuff. Some even say that you can find the Earth Stone there. That's it. Pirates? Yes. Thank God. 
finally doing something useful. <laughs> well, I guess they did something useful before, and I don't, whatever. And now I remember where they are. You just go up, and up, and up, and then left. Nope, and up, and left. Nope, up again. Left. There it is. Hello. We're going to the town of Gado Gado. Do you want to join? Yes. Follow me. Doo -doo -doo. Down to Gado Gado. Oh yeah. This place is freaking lit. Welcome. This is the kingdom of Frogberg. tell anyone, but some of us don't like humans. But they're too stupid to realize that humans will hate them too. Hmm, truth. Go through the temple to the west to reach Frogberg Castle. The Centaur's temple is a ruin of ancient culture. Supposedly one of the five heartstones is there. The Earthstone. Ah, Centaur. There's a boo-boo and a beep and a bee, bee ahead. And they Eat frog people and humans. Are you still going? Yeah. Are you really going? Yeah. All right. Any last words before you go? Uh, yeah. If you don't have confidence in yourself, then you shouldn't go. I'm going. I told you. A girl wearing a cat's costume came over and released a fish in the pond. Since then, Boo Boo and Bebe showed up. Boo Boo and Bebe. Boo Boo Bebe started to show up in the pond. Uh-oh. I heard the Marjorie ki kidnapped the prince. Humans are so weird. You don't see other frogs kidnapping each other. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen many frog people. Until I came to this town. The music here is really delightful. Oh no! Boo Boo and Bebe are living in the pond, so we can't get to the castle. The rich frog people don't like to deal with different cultures. This town is the only place where frog people and humans can interact. Let's see what you got to sell, my friend. Defense plus 20? I have 64,000 in no deal. <laughs> Maybe I should get a, a couple of these. Beastly item, holy moly. Um, put one on Cornet. Oh, wow, she doesn't have any. And then. Oh, she has physical damage by half. It's beastly. He's defense plus 10. So does he. There we go. The owner of this house, Port Gama, is engaged to the princess. He told me to take care of this house while he's gone. Oh, really? A lucky frogman. Port Gama. Port Gama. That's a weird name. <laughs> Whoa. I'm collecting monsters. Would you like to sell me one? Sell you a monster? No. They're mine. When you find a rare monster, sell it to me. Okay, so I guess we can get a lot of money if we sell them, like, Death, Dark Knight, or something. Love goes beyond just physical attraction. I guess even a monster could be loved. There are miniature action figures on the shelf. This guy's a collector. The collector. Ah! There's a toad in here. Wow. These people are freaking toad men. Just don't even, don't even worry about it. Let's get out of here. Oh, I have to get past this guy? There's a boo boo and bebe ahead. And they eat hum people and humans. Are you still going? Yes. Yes. No last words. Please be my guest, and may you have happiness in the netherworld. You're a jerk. I'm not going to die. Ew, look at this cornet. It looks like someone was using this pond as a bathroom or something. 
Gee, just what I wanted to hear. The bug of eternal stench. Don't worry. Boo Boo and Bebe shouldn't be much of a problem. That is if... unless they're gigantic. Did you see that? I don't want to see it. Ha ha ha. been my... F must have been a figmentation of my imagination. <laughs> figmentation. Go get him, Cornette. I'll be over here if you need me. What do you mean by that? They're giant bobos. Oh my, there they are. They're different versions of bobos. Interesting. Wow, we have to fight along this narrow bridge? Oh, that's not good. Uh, plus shot. Wow, she's fifth level of her charge already. Please tell me you can hit these guys. They look kind of far away. I can only hit one? Never mind. <laughs> Move him up there. Uh, Excalibur! Going down, boo boos and bebes. Okay, I'm gonna move Tell up. Just because I have a hunch. This guy's gonna die. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna leave her here. Up. Just use Giga Holy, who cares? And then we can move Duke up for some finishing blow action. Boosh! Jeez, he does so much damage. You're going down. That wasn't so bad. Easy. Oh no, a cave. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna end the episode off here. Next episode, we'll continue through this cave and hopefully make our way to Frogburg. Or, uh, yeah, Frogburg. So yeah, see you guys next time.